This is ABC 15 News. A man hiking in the White Mountains had a close call when a rattlesnake bit him not once, but five times. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Katie Rammel. And I'm Steve Irvin. His hiking companions tried to help him, but as ABC 15's Eric English explains, it's what they did to try to help that could have done more harm. The thumb here and the finger. Jason Hughes has a little stiffness in his hands and fingers, but he's grateful for any feeling there at all. I feel real fortunate. While out for a hike in the White Mountains, Jason and his companions came across a group of rattlesnakes. There was at least five or six. He tells me one of the snakes came close to a dog the group had with them. He was right around two foot long. It was an Arizona black rattlesnake. Fearing this snake would bite, he tried to move it. Went to basically pin the snake's head down so I could catch it and get us all out of harm's way. Well, in the process, whether the stick broke or the snake just wiggled loose, it turned around and just started going to town on my hand. Jason says he was bitten five times. His friends rushed him off the trail and to a hospital in Sholo, but in the process, a friend did something that almost cost Jason his arm. Uh, he told me a, a friend at the scene had applied a tourniquet to his hand which actually made, made things worse. Doctors tell me the tourniquet kept the venom concentrated in his arms, not letting it get diluted in the bloodstream. Doctors thought they might have to amputate. A couple times a year, people come in that have us very concerned, and he was one of them. But after getting more than two dozen vials of anti-venom, the swelling went down, and he'll keep his arm. He says after this experience, he'll keep out of the way of snakes. Stay away from them. <laughs> Eric English, ABC 15 News.